about it, okay? <laughs> All right. We got, we're going to hop right into our first topic. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. But first, we have a PSA for you. We'll be right back. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy, our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> no! Sweet liberty! No! <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! Exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. I, uh, that that seriously never gets old. No. I love that opening, and that just encompasses everything about what makes this game fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. The sense of humor, the dark satire, I fucking absolutely love it. But, Tone, we're going to talk about Helldivers 2, man. Yeah. It's out. Uh, we've been spending a, a ridiculous amount of time. You actually played video games with us. You actually hopped into this and played video games with us. And had a fucking great time. We had a blast. A lot of us have been having a blast. Cuddles and I are super fucking awesome and happy because... We finally have a game that the community plays with us. Mm -hmm. We actually have members of the community who are like, hey, let's play fucking Helldivers. We're like, what? Yeah, we cuddles. It was so, it was the first time I'd played a multiplayer game in a while, and he was trying to figure out what it was that was last time we played a game, and I think it was actually Ghostbusters. Yeah, like I think it was last, Ghostbusters, yeah. Last Spirits summer, unleashed. early summer, yeah. Um, cuddles, we were trying to figure it out, but it was Ghostbusters. What came out um, first, Ghostbusters or Evil Dead? Evil Dead did. Evil Dead did? Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. But I, which, by the way, I, I want to play some Ghostbusters soon because I love that game. But um, uh, this game, man, I played it. So I played it with Sunday. I got to play with you for like ten minutes. We were in a group. Yep. I played with Jurassic for a couple hours because it wasn't working that day. Had a good time there. Got to check out the uh, uh, the the robots that look like Terminators that scare shit out of you. And then <laughs> Monday night, the three of us were able to get some time there. You, me, and Cuddles, and uh, I just like I told you, like. Two or three hours went by, and when I was done, it felt like I hadn't blinked, uh -huh. and I just had an absolute great time. And uh, man, for for me, not really thinking I'd have the time to play, which I don't have a time, a lot of time, but not really worried about getting it. And now playing it, pff, yeah, holy shit, yeah. Uh, this um, dude. First of all, like, just kudos to Arrowhead Games. They fucking did it, dude. They did. Do you know how did like how many times like before this game came out? You know they were talking about oh it's a third person shooter and bigger and better. And anytime you think about a sequel that goes bigger and better, more often than not, it kind of forgets where it came from. It forgets its roots, what made it so special, and it just gets like over bombastic and just nowhere near as good as the original is. And dude, this game fucking nails it. They were able to go triple A. They were able to move it back to a third person perspective. And it still manages to maintain the fucking goofy ass satire, the chaotic action, the 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 hilarity with team kills and dropping ordinances on one another. It is a fucking amazing, amazing experience so far. There's even with all the server issues. Yeah, yeah, and that's just like you, live service games. You just gotta know that's gonna be a thing. They connect. I mean, it's just the way the world sucks. Either you you just you, you bend the knee like everybody else and take it, whatever. That being said nowadays when new games come out you expect that but they didn't i know this is a 
trope probably, but they didn't expect the amount of people to enjoy it and be excited. So like it, without a beta testing their servers, they just got lambasted this weekend. Yeah. But they've, like you've said, have been, and you probably will talk about this, they've been consistent about trying to fix it yes. constantly, and they've been very honest about it as yeah. well, too. So that's 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 that I appreciate that more than yeah, anything. Yeah, kudos to them. I mean, I mean, like I, I know at first they weren't doing it too much on, on X, but their Discord, they've been communicating with everybody, and their Discord was just is just full of people and like they are constantly giving out information, and um, it's uh, dude, it's been um, just a fucking incredible experience. I mean, the way that it perfectly balances that intense, because it is when it ramps up, it's an intense experience. Mm-hmm. It is very intense. It can be very stressful, but it's balanced out with the with the levity that comes mm-hmm. from the team kills and stuff. And usually, like when you're playing something like this, if it's super intense, and you know, if you're team killing each other, the fact that you go into these missions with like twenty revives as a team kind of offsets that you know you're just like okay we get it's not like it's over right away so you can kind of jump back in and and just kind of get back into it but man the gameplay loop here is so solid Mm -hmm. it feels good to play and dude this game is fucking gorgeous it's beautiful i mean the the the, the, all the levels are procedurally generated so i mean on some of the planets it's kind of samey the layout's different but for the most part the planets all kind of feel the same uh, but they're all different. There's day-night cycles. There's weather effects. So it kind of keeps that variety there. But it's the gameplay loop that just keeps pulling you back in as you continue to progress your character and unlock new stratagems and new weapons and new gear. And as you ramp up the difficulty, you get different mission varieties and operations to do. And it's just like, dude, we've only scratched the surface. I know Cuddles has got like 30 hours. I think I'm pushing 30 hours. And we're only still playing like in the challenging hard range. And there's still, like, four levels above that. And as the levels progress, there's even more enemy different varieties or variations of enemies that we've come across. There's different operations, dude. It's, like, fucking... That's... It's wild, dude. That's fucking nuts. You know, like, I I, I mentioned Ghostbusters, and there's a reason I bring that up. Prior to this, I know we've all done the Diablos and did this, that, and the others, but as far as sitting down and playing a fun game... Evil Dead had that for a hot minute as well, too. Yeah, yeah. Like multiplayer games having if you can find the right balance of a little bit of sweaty a little bit of that levity but having laughs and a good time and like we because we were clowning on monday night <laughs> you know what i mean we're having just a good time and it's it, it in, in a in a age of like everything's live service everything's of this everything's of that everything's of this that and the other like another one this game feels like that ghostbusters where it's just like I don't care if I'm dying or right, even right. doing like having a bum mission or whatever. We're having a good time and it's fun. And 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 man, I tell you, for the especially when you got limited time like I have right now, mm-hmm. be able to jump in for a couple of couple of hours, strategize a little bit, have a game that that takes inspiration from other things that I enjoy, but just sitting around and fucking around while doing it. Man, I I tell you, I for my money, right. And the thing, the thing that I love about this game too, man, is like I, on the surface, it's accessible. You can just jump in, run around with some friends, blow shit up, knock out a mission if you can, and, and have fun or whatever. But for the people that really want to get to those higher difficulty levels, mm-hmm. that's where you start to lean into the team more, the yeah. cooperation more, and strategi- strategizing with the stratagems. When you're dropping those down, everyone's kind of bringing their own stuff. you got to communicate, mm-hmm. work together, come up with a game plan, because it might seem like a chaotic mess, and it, and it typically is the way these, these – whether it's the automatons or the or, – or the, the, is it the tramids? What are they called? I can't, I can't remember what they're called. Trans Am. Trans Ams. <laughs> but, uh, like, they can come at you from all directions, but you can – Terminids, thank you. And you can sit there and still strategize in between the rushes and plan out your attacks, mm-hmm. how you want to do stuff. And when you do that, that's where the game really shines. Mm-hmm. When you get able to sit there and coordinate your strikes and your your other your defense uh, stratagems, your support stratagems, and utilizing everything in cohesion with one another, dude, it is so fucking satisfying. It is so satisfying. And in, in the world, as you're exploring these worlds, there's all these ca- hidden caches everywhere. You can find the metals you need. You can find the the super creds, which is the in-game currency. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the monetization, the, the the store is very fair in my opinion. It's like super cheap, and you can gain most of the credits from um, like um, a couple of missions to be able to buy several of the items in the store. Yeah. You, so it, yeah, I mean, there's no like real pressure to like spend real world money, even if you wanted to, yeah, even if you didn't want to. It's a, like. It's amazing to me how it hits so many things that make a game great and also at, mm-hmm. at like this interesting balance as well, too. I, 
Oh, Brian. Brian's got. It's funny how Brian has. The, I, I was reading it. I saw the Dude, irony. that same game where I missed the five kilogram uh, kilogram bomb. I think Brian killed himself nine times. He used up half of our reinforcements because he thinks that he can drop an eagle strike at his feet and outrun it. And like he kept doing it. And like I think about the sixth time, I was like, is he trolling me? Like, is he doing it? Does he want, is he trying to like get a reaction? He killed himself nine times. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? At that point, he just, I was just like, you know, you can't outrun that, right? You know, you can't outrun the Eagle strike. He just kept doing it. It's like a kid that doesn't learn his lesson when he touches the stove. He's like, oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. He just (laughs) keeps doing it. You're like, what are you doing, bro? Isn't it better just to kind of like toss it out? (laughs) But, uh, I mean, at the same time, though, I mean, that's just, that's the nature of the game. And, and like when you are surrounded by the terminates or, or bugs or whatever, Sometimes your only option is just to throw something down and run for your fucking life. And more often than not, for Brian anyways, it doesn't work. But it's it's a lot of fun with friends, man. I'm telling you, if it you get a, a group of four. I, I mean, it's, he's trying to create a tactic. It is a tactic. I mean, yeah. it is. It's 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 a tactic, all right. Mm-hmm. It's a kamikaze tactic. Right, right. And it eats up all your fucking reinforcements, but it's a bold strategy. But, Tone, here are the things that I, that I, that I want to ask you, though. Like, yeah, yeah. Ask me away. You know, right now we have several planets the game is procedurally generated, so we should have some variety to these missions and these planets and whatnot. Shut up. I was wearing heavy armor, which slowed me down. Again, I wouldn't throw those at my feet if I was wearing heavy armor. That's or all I'm saying. Or any armor. Or any armor for them. I just, I just wouldn't throw them at my feet and think, I'm going to outrun it. You know, it. It didn't work. After Blow the, up right after the fifth time, I thought you would have figured that out. But eh. I digress. I digress. But, Tone, I want to ask you, man. Like yeah, I said, yeah, we've yeah. got two... Uh, enemy types right now, the Terminids mm-hmm. and, the, and the Automatons. Right. Uh, the, the levels are all procedurally generated, so they give us some variety. My question is, like, going forward, how, does this game have the legs? Well, you know, that it's always a million-dollar question. Like, what is what is long-term, like, look on the on these games? What what uh, uh, what do we have for a roadmap? That's what, what I'm trying to say. So, uh, right now, I think it's fitting the bill perfectly. Like you said, a gameplay loop, you know, enjoying the grind and stuff like that, but you know, we all know as gamers, two or three weeks down the week, two or three weeks down the road, we're looking at our watches, going, "Okay, is there more? Or what's the next mm-hmm. game?" Kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping, and I'm going to guess with the success, initial amount of money, because they, I don't think they anticipated getting all these pots of gold right at the beginning. No, like they did because no. a lot of people. I mean, it was like topping charts of Steam sales and oh, everything yeah. like this, like all over, just just making some money. So they've got to be going, "Okay, shit, we better have some things planned," or maybe they already had some plans for longevity. Um, so. We need to hear something, have they? And I don't think they've said a whole lot, have they? If anything, in terms of the roadmap, yeah. But we did get some tidbits of information today, and Brian alluded to one of them. Uh, first of all, Helldivers was the first PlayStation game to pass 100,000 concurrent players on Steam. Wow. Now it's also the first PlayStation game to pass 200,000. Jesus Christ! By far, Sony's most successful PC launch ever, and looks to be performing very well on PlayStation 5 too. Big success for Sony and Arrowhead. And dude, I mean that is that is massive. I mean, I, I can tell you right now, Arrowhead is is a small studio. The first yeah. uh, the first Helldivers game was more of a niche product because it was a top down twin stick shooter that doesn't really really hit to a lot of people. But when you moved it back to a third person perspective and made it more accessible to a lot of people, more more appealing to a wider audience, mm-hmm. take that gameplay that was so good and add it to a game that's going to attract more people. This is what happens. Right, a lot of people are playing it, but so now they have all they got a improve their servers they have all these people playing there it's, it's by all accounts is being just revered by critics like mm-hmm. people are just loving this game and so the ceo and the creative director of helldivers 2 he went on on x today and said with the success with the success of helldivers 2 we are going to start looking for more amazing developers that can help us accelerate and beef up our content plans jobs will be going up soon but if you're a senior dev there's always the open application in list today so, I mean, that's huge right there. Help us accelerate and beef up our content plans. So, whatever they had in the in the pipeline, mm-hmm. in their internal roadmap that they have yet to share with us, they already realized, fuck, we need more people, and we need to start getting more content out. Yeah, same thing I thought. Cuddles, so, now, so, I can only help but wonder. Now, Brian, I'm pretty sure uh, there was three factions of enemies in the uh, first Helldivers. We have two here now. I'm assuming they have the third ready to go, and they'll probably introduce that at some point. But after that, man, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what to expect. Yes, the Illuminates, the Illuminatis. Yep, um, and that that they were a totally different race of like enemies, and they had different styles. So it'll be really interesting to see 
how they're able to continue to grow. I'm assuming that faction is probably already close to being ready to go. Mm-hmm. It's probably one of the first big drops on their roadmap whenever they do reveal it. But the fact that this game is just selling like gangbusters on Steam and on PlayStation 5, they have a major hit on their hands. And, dude, it's something yeah. – that Sony has needed for a while mm-hmm. in terms of like for I mean it's not a first party studio but it is it, it is exclusive to the console and they haven't had too many great cooperative experiences from like their their, their Sony uh, uh studios. Right. This is the yeah they they needed a game like this to be able to do that absolutely. Already a million sales. Yeah, man, it's wild. Uh 7 said that um the whole conquest style they're going for with securing the planets helps does definitely help drive that freshness. It's like you're trying to pushback it's like an ongoing war yeah. kind of thing it, I, and, that, and that see, is like, pretty neat on the first hell divers you could actually win the war and that then it would cool. and then it would just recycle and start up again but there was still a hell of an audience over there playing that game i actually hopped on it a couple times before the launch of this and there's a lot of people still playing hell divers yeah, one at the time well, it's supposed to be a great game right but this time now there there isn't a way to actually win the war you just kind of win battles but then other things are going to break out so it's gonna be mm-hmm. a kind of this continuous cycle mm-hmm. uh different planets will open up uh and yeah dude for 40 bucks you're paying like a, a budget title price for this sort of thing and you're getting great gameplay dude this is exciting man like I, i'm just i'm just really just happy for arrowhead because seriously man they are such a great developer and they took a huge risk mm. by making this a bigger better sequel and changing some of the stuff around but man for them to be able to maintain the stuff that made the first one so good kudos to them man it's fucking great and let's be honest like as somebody who prefers third person over first person normally um, to be able to take a game that was like an isometric shooter to go to third person, but the mechanics work really well. It's a very comfortable feel. Yeah. I mean, gee, that's not fucking easy to always do to take. It your, really is to, to just completely change your mechanics. It feels so, good to play. Yeah. 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 So I just, I, I'm just really, uh, honestly, the cross yeah. play is really good. The cross play is good. Yeah. I'm hoping we get cross progression at some point. Uh, but this is a title now, you know, we see what we know tomorrow. Uh, Microsoft is having their business. Their business meeting where they'll talk about the yeah. strategy of Xbox going Excited forward. To see that. I do kind of hope at some point, for the sake of Arrowhead, I think this is a game that Sony should consider bringing to other platforms. Yeah, because Arrowhead, I mean, forty bucks, get this over on Xbox. Maybe even, I mean, I don't know when the Switch will be able to run. Maybe the Switch Two, mm-hmm. whenever that gets announced, whenever that comes out. But get this game in as many in front of as many people as possible because it is that good. And I do want Arrowhead to ex- to to excel or to like to do well, mm-hmm. make it free to play after a year. I mean, shit, dude. Add it in part of Plus. Put it when you launch it on Xbox. If they do, if that's the case, then put it in PlayStation Plus so those, you know everyone else can get it there for free for a while. I don't know. Cuddles makes a good point too. The forty dollars is a good price point. Any higher, people would not have spent the money potentially on the unknown, and that's that's a fair. point That's too. a very fair I point. Think forty is one of those ones where, like, you know what? If I'm I'm not out sixty or seventy bucks, I'll take the roll the dice on it. But and even with word of mouth, I think you know if it was, if it was a fifty nine or a sixty nine dollar game, even with the word of mouth and the excitement, I don't think it would have done nearly as well mm-hmm. if it didn't have that forty dollar yeah. price tag on it. Yeah, yeah. So wow. just really, really awesome, Cuddles. I know you said you were gonna. Uh, did you want to call in real quick and kind of talk about it for a minute? If you want to, man, I'll open it up. Up to you. I don't mind. I always like hearing from Cuddles, man. Oh, Dungeons is down to talk, too. Fuck, man. Uh, sure, let me put my pants. Nah, man, pants. You don't need pants around these parts. What are the what what, what are I pants? Uh, how do you spell that? Let me see here. Uh, Tone, tell us a fucking uh, story while I get these guys in here. Uh, man, right, man. Uh, improvise, man, improvise. Oh, um, I had sushi for lunch today. It was delicious. Oh, where'd you get it from? I got it from this place called Oishi Sushi in Nobai. Oh, um, I wanted to go to the plated one where the conveyor one, uh, Drassen, that you uh went to before Josh and I could go. We've been talking about for years, but I didn't want to. Unlike, unlike half ass beer view who um wanted to leave me behind to go to Austin Brothers. <laughs> Um, I didn't want to try it because me and him have been talking about this for like two years. So I went to the other place just to get some sushi and I had a really good eel roll. Probably one of the best Unuku style rolls I've ever had. They had like two or three nice slices of avocado on top. It had the eel in the bottom, the, the eel barbecue sauce and like some form of like crab meat inside of it and like some cucumber sticks. Mm-hmm. It was a delicious, not usually a roll I typically get, though I do like eel rolls, but not with all the stuff. It was a delicious roll today. So let me tell you, pretty hot. Good, good stuff. Yeah, it was a great, nice little like, like Japanese like bistro kind of like you get all kinds of noodles and stuff like that too. Ramen, 
Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty awesome. Jesus, good atmosphere too. That sounds really sexy. That um, sounds I mean, really you know, good. When it comes to sushi, man, I'm I'm always looking to try something new. So he's always down for some sushi. Right, I'm just making sure these settings ah. are right so they yeah. actually work. And you I know? gotta put my headset on to hear these guys. I believe. Yeah, so, you do. Uh, you want to hear the sultry baritones? But, yeah, I did have to drive to uh, Detroit today to the uh, airport where um, one of my locations for work was at. So it's basically a field trip day. But let me tell you. Waking up before 6 a.m. is complete horse shit. And anybody that does that, I really feel bad for you. It's awful. <laughs> yeah, I totally it's wasn't up at 5 o'clock waiting to hell divers through this morning. Awful. You need to get a life. I am kind of a fucking loser. All know. right. I'm going to bring these guys on. Uh, what we'll do is we'll start with uh, Cuddles first. Yeah. Get his thoughts on stuff. And then we'll let Draston have the mic. That way we can uh, just not everyone talk over each other. Uh, so let's get these guys on. Let's see if I did it right, Tony. Do you think I did it right? No, I think I did it right. Absolutely not. Are you serious? You don't believe me? Suck. You don't trust in me? No. All right, Draston's muted himself, so I can't undo him, so we'll start with Cuddles. Cuddles, can you hear us? Hi. Audience, can you hear Cuddles? Try it again, Cuddles. You better be able to hear me. Ah, there he is. There he is. I think everyone heard him. I'm pretty sure I did it right. Uh, You're suppressed? Well, that's... Yeah, yeah, we can hear. What the fuck does suppressed mean? I don't know what suppressed means. Uh, He's not. (laughs) Oh. It's, uh, if I look at his name, it says he's muted. So, yeah, he might have to leave and come back in. Yeah, might we'll be get on to, him. We'll get to you. Okay. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. All right. All right, Cuddles. Now, look, man, uh, about a week and a half or so before uh, Helldivers 2 came yeah, out. Drill you, him, dude. You, you flat out told me, I don't know what the fuck this game even is. <laughs> and I was like, bro, just check out this trailer. And you're like, I don't know, man. I'm playing in Shrouded. And I was like, fuck, I'm not going to be able to get Cuddles. And he watched the trailer, and he came back. He goes, you know what, man? This doesn't look too bad. Cuddles, I want to get your thoughts, man. Now that you got 15, 20 hours in, you were uncertain of this game at first. Where are you at on Helldivers 2, bro? Um, As an Xbox fan, it's a PlayStation game, but it sucks. Um, I'm Perfect. over it. I've already deleted it off my hard drive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know anything about it. You kept bringing it up. I was like, what is this game? You know, And I kind of looked at the first one. And not that I don't like top-down games. Sure. I was kind of hesitant on it. But then I started, you know, you started talking more and more and more about it. So I was like, you know, let me actually watch some videos on it. And it definitely looked interesting. I love co-op shooters or co-op anything. Um, that's my bread and butter. Mm-hmm. So I've really been enjoying it. I mean, other than connection issues, I haven't really ran into, like, you don't really run into, like, rubber banding or anything in the game, which no, is nice. Um, graphically, like, the worlds are actually pretty different. You know, each one you go to, like, the jungle map is just gorgeous. It's a pain oh, in the man. ass. It's hard, but <laughs> it is gorgeous. The explosions, probably the best explosions I've seen in any game. Mm. Um, especially when I'm dropping down, you know, an airstrike. You're dropping down a bomb. Tone's out there throwing down a napalm. Drassen's <laughs> throwing up a shield. Like, and all of it renders really well. Yeah. Uh, the, the gunplay feels good. Mm-hmm. Um. And you would think it's something as easy as putting in a contra command to throw something down <laughs> would just would, right. would make things so much easier, but it's really not. Like you're in the midst of the battle and you got a charger chasing you and you're trying to throw down a revive because <laughs> yeah. you know somebody's dead. And that's really the tricky part on it is yeah. putting those codes in. Um I mean, fuck the revive. You're trying to call it an airstrike that's like eight button presses. You're like, what am I supposed to do right now? <laughs> yeah, but he probably doesn't throw it at his feet either. Uh, that's you know, I don't remember seeing Cuddles throwing an airstrike at his feet. But Cuddles, like, uh, continue, no, please. Dude throws them at us sometimes, though. I mean, um, that's just because I forget what your character. I thought I had the thirty percent arm, yeah. but I didn't, and uh, I accidentally killed a few people. I apologize. He'll be like, that's a little short as it <laughs> bounces off my chest. <laughs> right, foot, right, 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 right. But- yeah, the wind knocked that one <laughs> down. Um, Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I, no, I'm really digging it. Um, I've, I've said this before. I don't know if this will be a game I mainline, mainstream here in another couple weeks, sure. but it's it has that potential to where, like a Friday night, I get an invite, dude goes, hey, I want to play this, or Tone, yeah. or anybody else in the community. It's easy to hop in and play a match or two. Absolutely. Like you, Even if you're under level, you can still join... The rest of your friends, which is nice. See, that's what um, I like about a two man. Like, if you're, if I'm a higher level person and I jump into a, a level two player's game, and if they're going up me- on medium, it's going to be challenging. It's not like I have like more HP right. or anything like that. I'm still just this fragile dude wearing fucking armor. And yeah, some of the armors are a little bit better as you rank up. But I mean, for the most part, you're not overly more powerful than somebody who's a level two or three. 
Yeah, not really, because I mean, even the armors, I don't know if they're really more powerful, because it, it, it seems like it's the same three or four stats yeah, in all the yeah, armors. Yeah, yeah. It's just all cosmetic from there. Um, yeah, you get better airstrikes and, and stuff like that, but for the most part, it doesn't feel like I'm overwhelmed by not playing and y'all outlevel me. Yeah. Like, I can still hop in and do just as much damage and have just as much fun. Right. Um. I like the variety of the missions. You would you would think they get very repetitive, but they really don't. And then some of them are easier than others, and then some of them you're balls at a wall the entire time you're in there, which is <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm trying to get a bunch of cool pictures of just things blowing up behind me. It's a little well. Uh, there's a very famous said than done. <laughs> definitely a very famous TikTok that may have been put out a day or so ago by uh, the Banter and Babble accounts that highlight uh some of your success when it comes to those sweet explosions <laughs> i even we... slowed it i even slowed it down I know, in the video it was fucking where he's cool. like run it and yeah. you see this new this bomb go off behind me it just looks so cool yeah yeah that's also in the midst of him reviving the two of us <laughs> and, and not long after that was when we get we come up to a base and i think all three of us laid down like two or three strike it was like four or five i felt it like, was a like, massive explosion yeah and we were just went just boom 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 like and then a an nate palm and then another couple booms and we're just going like this is fucking awesome and it looks cool when it's doing it and then we walk up to the base and there's nothing around yeah like, dude everything's just level wasted like, the that's what i like base. about it too man whenever you call in like the the, the five kilo 500 kilogram bomb or, or if you get a hell bomb or if you hit shoot one of the nukes that are just laying in the field yeah like the destruction to the map is is actually kind of significant yeah. Uh, especially standing structures like buildings and whatnot. Those things would get fucking completely yeah, obliterated. It's cool as fuck, man. Like, I don't it, know. And I agree with Brian. The difference between the the bugs and the terminators. Uh, oh hell yeah, is tremendous. Like the way you even your game plan, the way you oh, play, God, what you yeah. bring in. Like you have to switch it up. Um, I think the bugs are a little harder than the terminators, personally. Mm -hmm. um, the terminators suck because they can shoot at you, but man, some of those bugs, especially they when you get chargers you. and stalkers and all that, yeah, they're just on top of you right away. Mm -hmm. Um, incredibly challenging at times and that's again it's, it just has this way of like it, it'll hit you with the challenge and at times again it just seems like you know how could we even like plan for this but then when we do like go into the next mission we're like you know what let's let's plan something and then you start strategizing and then all of a sudden it gets easier and you're like shit man why weren't we using this before mm -hmm. or why, why weren't we trying this stratagem i mean it really benefits everybody to like really kind of go through the stratagems and be like okay i'm bringing in these ones yeah. my role is kind of going to be this Somebody else is going to have these ones. You're going to be more in the fray up close. Mm -hmm. And once you really start diving into that, I feel like that's where the strategy, and that's the stuff that's that's really going to come into play at the harder difficulties. Because, I mean, Carlos, I think we've done challenging. Have you tried hard yet? Uh, No, we never did. We were going to do it last night, remember, and we just never ended up doing right. it. But even challenging right now is like, man, we're still trying to, like, get a get a full grasp and understanding of how to get through some of these Michigans or the Michigans through some of these missions because they're just they do get very very chaotic mm -hmm. so I don't know man I think it's uh I think it's beautiful man I think it's I think it's a great game I think it's a lot of fun and like you know Cuddles I know you're a multiplayer guy man just hearing you sing the praises of it and how much you've enjoyed it um that just makes me feel good man because like seriously I love the first hell divers and I'm just glad they were able to make the game more appealing to more people and like guys like you are like, oh man, you know the first one, and, and that's exactly who I was referring to when Carlos said he watched videos of the first one. He was like, ah, uh, not really my jam. You know, it looks cool, but just not my thing. And that's kind of what the the I don't want to say the only drawback of the first Hell Divers was, but it was kind of more of a niche like game. Yeah, it was. But then you make it more accessible, more appealing to more people. That's that's what you do, man. You draw it in, and it still has all the same elements that made it great. Uh, DIS guys, exclamation mark DIS. Oh, exclamation point DIS. Um. I've been I've been asking for these commands for like three years, Chat. Just so y'all know. <laughs> yeah, um, well, they're out there. <laughs> but yeah, so y'all know me. I'm a social gamer. I, anytime I got a chance to play with other people, that's what I want to do. Um, so anytime I have a good co-op that all the we can all jump in, we can all sit there and bullshit. Mm -hmm. We might get quiet at times when it gets intense, but oh, yeah. like, for the most part, we're just having fun. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not. It's frustrating, but it's not at the same time. Like we we can usually figure out a way out of whatever jam pickle uh, we may find ourselves in. Right. Um. So that that's what I'm enjoying about it. Like I said, I, depending on the roadmap from here on out, I just also switch games every other week. So 
I don't know how long this one will actually keep my attention as far as playing every day or every other day, but sure. it, it's definitely, I could see it for the next year or two being like Destiny was towards the end for me where I could, I could still jump in and play some matches cool. and, and be happy with it. Um, Awesome. Like, I know like a lot of people are like, well, this, why don't they do weapon drops, stuff like that? I, I think the way they got it now is fine. Cause I think it's a per- it, I think it's it, a perfect it caters, system. Yeah, it caters to the um the casual gamer, right? Like I don't have to sit there and farm and farm and farm, run this raid, do this just to get right. that one weapon that's gonna be tremendous, right? Right. Um so I, I hope they keep it this way. Well, I do and... want to ask you guys why I have you cause I'll ask Dun or Dungeon this if he's able to get in here. Uh, what are off the top of your head? What are like one or two additions you would like to see them add to the current like layout that they have? If they could add another enemy or two, especially in the future, or whatever, just to to throw it off a little bit, maybe constantly keep changing the objectives. Uh, I don't know how easy or hard that is for a dev to do, uh, but the different missions there is a good variety of them now. But you mm-hmm. know. I could see after a month or two of doing the same missions over and over again, where it could get kind of repetitive. So maybe switching them, switching them up just a little bit. Um, I feel like they're going to have to add more equipment though. We're going to, we're going to run out of the, the equipment and everything we can buy within like a week or two. I want more control over color options. More customization. Customization of the color options. I want to be able to like, I, I hate to reference it out of nowhere, but like halo, the old halo, at least, Mm-hmm. Would let you do different color wheels or just just games that will like let you like almost customize certain pinstripes and stuff like that. I yeah. think that would give it more of that uh, that customizable feel that for people like me, you know, keep me interested. Maybe, yeah, maybe even reduce the the amount of different armors and just re, uh, introduce also like like I said some color packs for mm-hmm. the armor mm-hmm. yeah. That's something else to unlock. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Um, color packs like that would be really nice. The other thing I would hope uh, I would like to see you know at some point is to add uh like little perks to the helmets and the cape i don't even need them to add gauntlets or or boots or anything like that i I like that it's it's more simplified but if you want to because right now on the on the capes and the helmets there's no like perks there's no like 30 percent chance or 30 percent arm strength like add maybe a couple more things just one or two things to the capes and the helmets i think that'd be cool i'll allow you to kind of build you know when hopefully we get like fucking uh loadouts you can build and customize a build that'll work for whether you're going up against the Terminids or the uh, mm-hmm. the Automatons or whoever the third party is going right. to be. Um, I think that would really allow more, you know, kind of entice more people to go out there and grind and, mm-hmm. and run missions so you can get the other armor sets and the pieces. Right. Maybe have like a set uh, a set perk where if you have all three pieces of a certain set, you get like an you get additional, like a, re- like a faster reload yeah, or some something shit like that. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot yeah, of ways I they wish. can take it. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I wish they, uh, as far as the capes, I wish that would be the one piece they let you customize. Like, put your own logo on the back. Like, oh, customize, dude, like everybody dope. sees that. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of like a flag for other games. You know, yeah. you can customize your own flag stuff. So put that be B&B logo on cape. there. Yeah, absolutely. Put yeah. the Cuddles teddy bear on your fucking put cape, bro. on the back of it. Oh, Just a big yep. old fucking... Oh, yep. wiener. Oh, okay. Yeah, do it, do it, do it like old school Call of Duty uh, <laughs> emblems. Remember, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get five or six emblems, and people out there just making dicks and everything. Yeah. Like, how did you even come up with that? Well, I took this and I, I angled right, it this right, way. Right. You Nothing really thought about this. Like a, a just a hairy cock squirting everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but like in like uh, you know lower graphic. No, higher. I want high def. I want four. <laughs> right, right. I want to see the fucking veins, bro. Yeah. I want to see the swimmers That's inside of it. Right, right. Uh, That's my favorite part. What about a horde mode like zombies? Well, I mean, technically, they already do have a horde mode. What's that mode? The 10 minute mode, Cuddles? That's kind of a horde mode, isn't it? Where you got to hold down the. You got to kill like well, 150 people. If it was a two minute mode, it'd be called the dude mode. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it kind of does have a horde mode as one of the operations, but if you mean like a standalone was it like blitz mode, or yeah, blitz, blitz or, something or something like that, where you got to yeah. kill like 150 enemies or some shit. I just need my bow tie accessory. You got to kill and stop. I mean, that's you know, throw a little tux on, look tuxedo t shirt I mean, for my uh, my hell diver. It could be some fun. I'm telling you, there could be some fun stuff. But I, I just want to be able to take my helmet off. <laughs> <I'm> just want <laughs> to remove my helmet. Hey man, they established that in the video. I want in going. Uh, I want it in going. No time. Trick. Oh. Tricky. Ongoing no time. No, he wants it inside. Oh, him. like an unlimited horde. Yeah, yeah. like like he, each wave gets progressively more and more difficult. So that like that Call of Duty Zombies, yes, like the original version where like every mo every round was more and more difficult. That mm-hmm. that could be interesting. And I mean, that's as a live service game. I think that's 
something they could legitimately look at. I mean, obviously, this is a game that they are going to have to support for a while because people are fucking loving it. And this allows them to kind of expand and, and, and grow outside of the, the modes they already have in there. So who knows how this game's going to look in six months to a year. I mean, Cuddles, you know, I, I agree, Cuddles. Is this going to be a game I'm going to want to keep playing six months from now? You know, and I, I'm willing to give them that time because obviously they're a small studio and they're, they're hiring now. So I'm sure they, like I said, I'm sure they have a roadmap for like the first six months, but they probably as a smaller studio are also going, we also got to hold off and just see how we're doing mm-hmm. sales wide to justify putting more costs in the content. But as of right now, they're on a fucking roll, dude. Yeah, proof's in the pudding. Well, so the the one thing I want to say before I'll address it on here, um, the biggest thing they need to fix to me is the matchmaking. Not yes. not only just between friends or whatever, mm-hmm. um, but you lose half the people in your friends list. It shows them either not where they're at or not online, whatever. But right. even the randoms, like trying to join the randoms, they always get failed to connect. Failed to oh, connect. yeah, always. Like, they need to figure out a better way, like maybe join a lobby or, or something to be able to join random people because this game's not meant to be played by yourself. You can, but it's not. It, mm-hmm. It's You need those other people mm-hmm. to really do what you need to do. Um, but that's all I got to say on it. I'm going to, I'm going to um, read this. Uh, they actually had a patch go out today. And one of the things that they mentioned, and it goes, um, for this recent patch, 1.006, uh, prepared build for upcoming server matchmaking improvements. So the patch that went out today is kind of preparing the game on both PC and PlayStation five for those matchmaking changes that'll, that'll kind of drop behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. So hopefully with these changes and with the updates that we will start to see that matchmaking working where you could just, because that's one of the things, that, that's the last thing I'm going to talk about, this, and, I, and I promise I'll, I'll, I'll get drastic on here. Uh, the other thing I love about it, dude, is like when you're, if I come home and I turn on Helldivers 2 and I see a friend that's on a planet somewhere, you, you can typically join easily that way. Mm-hmm. And like all you literally do is just pick the planet, boom, you're above it, boom, you drop it and hop. I mean, it's super easy to hop in. Yeah. And, and especially it's the best if it's there at the end of their mission and you're they're at the extraction, then you leave and you get all the fucking XP and all the yeah, shit. Yeah, man, like, oh, we've thanks, seen you guys. do that we're, shit. Yeah, we were all aware of that. Real fucking shady shit. Yeah. But yeah. Cuddles, man, we appreciate you calling in, bro. We appreciate hearing from you. Um, <laughs> I'm just glad that we all have a game, and I'm glad we got this guy to fucking play a game with us, dude. Yeah, yeah. Tone played a game with us. And it's really good, and I enjoy it. So we'll see him on again yeah. probably at what, Christmas time? Probably. Awesome. It turned me on. I had to... <laughs> Give the old lady the best 30, 45 seconds. Yeah, I think we had to go. I was so right. pumped up. I, I think we had to get a lot of like dick jokes in in the first five minutes because it's been a minute since I played a game. And then it was there. Dick there jokes was a lot out. of lot of dick jokes. Um, <laughs> but I don't think you can run out of dick jokes. I don't know if you can have too many dick no, jokes. Really Plus, can. it's always entertaining having Brittany in the background cuss at all the ten year olds while she plays Call of Duty. That was yeah. fantastic, dude. Thanks. That was fantastic. Yeah. Even though she won't play Call of Duty with me and dude, I will I say that. But the things that come out of her mouth. Uh, yeah. Yep, I know. Like I'm a I'm an ex sailor. I know. I heard <laughs> things yeah. that came out that I would have never. Even even, even he was blushing. Of. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. So, unbelievable. But well, hey man, we appreciate y'all. you, brother. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. All right, bye. Take it easy. All right, I'm gonna see. Uh, do I can I pull Drassen in here? Well, he said when you did that. I didn't. Dra- I didn't pull him in at all. Oh, maybe. So yeah, you pull him in. I don't drag him. Let's see. I don't know. We'll, s- we'll do it live. Fuck it. We'll Fuck do it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. All right. I think I. I, 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 I oh, here we go. I think I brought him in. Does that work? I think it He's worked. Muted. He's, He's still, still fucking muted. 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 Uh, Unmute your mic, bro. <laughs> God, why is this guy just? There you go. I, I, I saw my. Oh, there he is. There he is. Is he there? I saw the key. Oh, am I here? Oh wow, the mute button does work. Congratulations, man. No, I wasn't man. muted. It just, when you drug me down, it said I did not have permission to speak in the channel. So I, That's weird. Oh, well. Who knows? Yeah, well, I mean, we are trying to keep you down. Oh, there you I go. Mean, King got it. you unmuted. See, that's why Cuddles is the yeah. man. See? That's why Cuddles See, is the man. I didn't mute myself. Uh, <laughs> Drastin of Seven Dungeons Hello. joining Hello. us live. See the, See the shirt? He's got that shirt on. Shirt on tonight. Looks sexy. He looks I love sexy. that shirt. Uh, Drastin, now look, you're uh, uh, another big online player. You were mostly MMOs and, 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 and other survival games. Uh, you weren't. I, too, I love my spooky games. He loves the spooky games. You weren't too sure about this one either, uh, but you're in it and you're enjoying it as well. Yeah. So it's no secret I'm not good at shooting games. We um, we know. <laughs> it's very yeah, evident yeah. the last couple of days. It just never was my thing. Uh, well, not since like um, Goldeneye, like back on <laughs> Nintendo 64 or yeah, Battle Thirty um, Years. Okay. Battlefront Two. We had some time in that. We had some time, but like historically, I'm not good at these games and I recognize where my fallacies are. Um, 
but this game is so easy to pick up and play and do well at. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's chaos at first, but then like like you guys were saying, like just the teamwork is the best part. Mm -hmm. oh, like yeah. I I love this moving in a squad and and just strip mining a place <laughs> down <laughs> and uh it's it's just a it's a lot of fun even for somebody who's not good at games like that and and i can at least stay pretty competitive with everybody else i'm playing with right. in this game so uh that stress the stress is, is what i think keeps bringing me back because it's hard it is in, <laughs> in all aspects so when, when you're when when bugs are coming out all over the place and, and you're yelling like where are they all coming from. You're trying to reload like, and you're running around or throw down a resupply, man. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, and then and then dudes in your ear like, is somebody gonna bring me back? Yeah, when there's not forty bucks or like you're running, I've got I got sixty behind me, and then they drop a bomb. They're like, I just killed sixty people. I'm like, I told you, there were sixty of them back there. So yeah. it's uh it's a lot of chaos and a lot of fun. I think they have a lot of potential to do stuff. I think their bread and butter may be like events where maybe big mass events where they're the the idea. the creatures are like pushing forward and you got to push them back and it's just live like that all yeah. the time you know like there's no end you you do what you could can to push forward and so try to almost like capture points that's your mmo coming through let me ask you this yeah so because i just wondered about this too i don't know enough about the game so i'm asking and maybe it's that already thing but are there planets where you can have more squads of like three or four no jump in mm -hmm. so that Not would be right cool now. if they added an event like a planet like every so kind of like, like multiple Diablo. teams drop in like multiple teams drop in to take on like a big thing yeah, yeah and get yeah. some like creds or whatever that you know we of course we don't want this to be a loot drop but like just to be able to get that get different accolades maybe it drops a new helmet or something like that yeah, like, yeah you know i mean i know it's it's not about the the loot drops but like you know that stuff mostly is cosmetic or whatever it is but and like plus it'd be easy accessible for more people we're like you know if you have yeah. to sit there and grind a raid yeah. over and over and only to hope a weapon drops mm -hmm. if you have this public event this huge event happening where Everybody that goes yeah. in is rewarded for. It. I think that relieves the whole. And oh, keeps this the is friendly annoying. fire on too to make it more oh, fuck interesting. Yeah. Like, friendly you know fire has I mean? to stay on. Yeah. So I mean, it would be cool to have something like that or something in that vein. Brian said, "Oh, interesting." Brian says, "I believe that there will be planet defense missions at the end of a push on the galactic map. It's in the trophy list." Ooh. Um, so that's, that's interesting. interesting. Uh, okay. See, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm sure they have a roadmap in place of things, base level things as a studio before this game took off. Where they're like, you know, here's what we can do with this game. Here's what we want to do. But the, I think those those plans will probably expand more now that the game has really taken off. Um, but, like, uh, Dress, I want to ask you, like, what are some things that you would like to see added to the game? Other than the, the big events that you just mentioned. I mean, I, I'm with you guys with like, eventually you're going to find those best weapon sets for each type of enemy. Mm -hmm. And, and it'd be nice to have a little bit more, the gun, the, the game needs balance. Mm -hmm. Like the guns, I, I unlocked like the, the assault rifle one with the exploding ammo uh, recently. And I took it into a mission and wanted to just turn it towards myself. Oh my um, God. That thing is it was trash. So, it's so it's trash. so trash. It's actually less damage than the gun you start with. Uh, like, and I it, thought that when I when I and I see that I see it was less damage and it fires slower, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I mean, it's got this explosive like round to it that's not on the original Liberator, the base one. And I was like, okay, maybe that will knock off armor from like the Charger or the smaller that smaller um Terminid with the shield around or that's its armor, but it doesn't do shit. It doesn't no, do anything. So. It, yeah, they they need a little bit of balance there, and like like you said, the helmets need a little bit. Maybe maybe a helmet that like um, it scans constantly, so you can see where where I would Ooh. love something where I could see like the where the caches are away, yeah, yeah yes. or, or the caches or something. Yeah. And, and you got to wear that helmet for a particular mission. I, I think there's a lot of little low hanging fruit they could tweak. Yeah, I, wanna, and, I, and I don't mind if it's huge like changes. Yeah, I don't want to have anything where it's like it's like man, like where I have to spend like ten hours to sit right. there and try to find the right combo. I mean, just very basic like shit, like. Like you said, a scan of like samples further away so you can see them quicker, or like a group, re like a group, a set perk where if you have the whole set of armor, you get like faster reload, like ten percent reload speed, or just small changes. I don't want, like I said, I don't want to have just this point where you can become overpowered. You know, I don't want them people to find ways to break the system because there's so many different perks. I don't want to overcomplicate them mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
No, that's a good idea. If I was going to add something to the game, I would say some kind of like healing abilities, like a, a, a mist or a fog you could put down where, where like your, your buddies could run through it and it heals them up a bit or at least protects them, maybe gives them some defense. And we got the shield bubble, right? Like mm-hmm. so, something more on that that healing side. Like maybe if they fall down and you get to them soon enough, you can like pop them back up within 10 seconds or something. You know, I think that would be a fun little arc you could go because right now it's just like run and gun blow everything up but like having and, and again like tones it like the mmo comes out in me a lot mm-hmm. it's that role right that that healer role um but whether you like it somebody picks those like like cuddles would run around with a big shield the other day and like could run out in front <laughs> so <Right. laughs> and, and absorb those shots I don't. So, the, uh, yeah. Cuddles just said I don't think the perks on the armor make much of a difference, anyways. To be honest, I mean, for the most part, I think the the two that do stand out to me is the thirty percent arm strength because you will fucking sail your stratagems if or if you're trying to like throw an airstrike <laughs> or if you're trying to throw something, you're like, okay, I'll throw it to this thing, and that thirty percent, that fucking thing will sail the target, and you're just like, shit, I forgot I had that. So that one I do notice, and I do notice the thirty percent dip in um uh an enemy spotting you. I wear that one a lot when I go solo, and I'm able to uh, avoid like a lot of those wandering patrols just by. That one's big. That one's huge, man. I like that one a lot, especially on solo. And I do agree, Brian. The reduced recoil while prone or when you're crouched, especially with like the the liberator, which bounces a lot. Mm -hmm. That thing is pretty much like a laser at that point. Mm -hmm. I use one that gives me six stims only because I want to heal people, but they die. (laughs) It's a good idea. It's not. It's a novel concept. It's an awful idea, but yeah, it's it's really hard to get to somebody Tricky. to heal them. Yeah, a, a dark planet with night vision. Oh, like, dude, imagine a it, dark night uh, with the automatons. No, it'd be like it'd be like Vader at the end of uh, <laughs> where, where he turns on the lightsaber. And you're like, oh, there he's in the dark. That'd be fucking creepy. You see a bunch of red eyes coming at you. That sounds scary. <laughs> but h- hands down, like, and it's it's one of the things that hasn't been mentioned yet, and. The best mission in the game is the ICBM. Oh my god, you know, that when, one is dope, when man. you launch so so I played Fallout seventy six and like one of those you'd go deep and you launch the nuke and you see the nuke and I was like, ah, that's cool. When you see this thing hit in the background, I thought, oh, that's cool. It's in the background. But when you see that wind wave of yeah, debris that blast just start wave. ripping over the service and like hit you, yeah. what yeah. that that's just good yeah. storytelling yeah, yeah it creates this it, world it, like it really it's immersive it really puts you i mean the explosions in this game are fucking incredible like really i can't emphasize that enough i know i've gone over a hundred times when you blow shit up you really feel like you're blowing shit up mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah so yeah the uh the other thing i really like is like some when you get to the automas the, like if they hit you with a sniper shot it knocks you down so i was going to like throw a grenade he hit me in the chest i threw the grenade like I just dropped it on myself and like killed me and Blanco <laughs> and you, I think, too. And you did. Like, I did. And I, I did like, the same thing. Happened? I did the same thing when I had that airstrike. I was going to throw the stratagem and I got killed and it fell at my feet and it, and it, it dropped the airstrike right on me. I was like, motherfucker. Well, Brian. I did a Brian. Yeah, I just thought I was, uh, that was Brian that did that. But um, no, man, I've had a blast with it. And, and, and like I said, it's just it's great to hear other people who are really enjoying it, who typically don't play these types of games, but everyone just kind of finds a way to enjoy it. There's something and that just tells everybody. you how accessible that just shows you how accessible it is to so many people. Mm-hmm. That's so. it's pretty rad, dude. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. And I'm glad everyone else is kind of enjoying it as well. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's just it's a different type of multiplayer that we've all had for a minute. I mean, we did Diablo last year, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, I, I love those isometric games, and that kind of style. But this has got just a different flavor to it and it just it, like again it's all, it's about the fun that i think we're all having with it right now and like you know there's a little something in it for everybody it really is dress any final thoughts go and buy this game go, go, and, this. go and buy the go game. buy the game like Kyle said the other it, night finally we have a game that the community wants to play join us add us on psn steam or wherever and we'll run missions with don't you, do it for us do it for for super for Earth. democracy, there democracy and for liberty. There you go. Help us serve a, a warm cup of liberty. Yep, there you I go. I love it, Drassen. Thanks for calling in, brother man. We appreciate no hearing problem. from you. Don't forget, tune in every Monday at seven p.m. to check out him spinning some yarn with the Seven D crew there, telling their D and D stories. Pretty wild right now. Right now, especially, it's getting thick in stories. So absolutely, it's getting thick. All right, brother. Take care, man. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye. All right. Awesome.
Awesome. Well, Tone, I think that's pretty much all we want to say about Hell Divers 2. But hey, we want to hear from Mouthful. you. Let us know in the comments below what you think of Hell Divers 2. Are you having fun with it? What are some of the things you would like to see them add to the game? What are you hoping to see on the roadmap? Is this a game that you feel you're going to be playing six to, uh, six months to a year from now? All that remains to be seen. But I can tell you one thing. These live service games, when they're done right, very rarely are they the same game a year from now. Mm -hmm. As long as it keeps that same fun factor and just builds around that, this is going to be a huge hit for a long time to come if they play their cards right. Yeah. I would like to see not just planets. I'd like to see like the dominids or whatever, like maybe on a space station. Oh, man. Oh, you want to get real close encounter shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, they pushed back and now they're on one of our ships or a capital Damn. ship. Space station. Like, I want things like that. Like, would it be cool if there was like a low gravity, like space station, like kind of thing, too? <laughs> Like, I'm just thinking, I mean, hey man. the possibilities could be endless with this Arrowhead, game. hire this guy. I got ideas. He's got ideas. He's got ideas. All right, 